Hi everyone. In this video, we will design some common composable components that we require in our project. So here you can see we have text field. We have this app bar. So let's go back to our Android project. Inside this theme module, we will create a new package and I am going to name it components. And the first component that we are going to create is app bar. That is our top application bar. So create new Kotlin class file and the file name is app bar. Inside this file, we will create a composable and the name of the function is app bar. To this app bar, we will pass title that is a string. We have to pass a nav icon that is an optional parameter and the type is image vector and the default value is null. The third and the last parameter is on nav. That means what will happen when we click on this nav icon. It is again an optional parameter and I will make the default value as an empty lambda. Now inside this function, we will create a top app bar and it is a predefined composable function that is called top app bar. Now here you can see we have created top app bar. Here are the colors, the title of the top app bar and finally the navigation icon. And for the navigation icon, I am creating this when the value is not null using the let function. And for the icon, we are using icon button and whenever the icon is clicked, we are sending the callback using this on nav function that we have here. Very simple and straightforward, right? So we have our top app bar ready. Now we want to preview this app bar and to preview it, we can create a preview function. So let's preview. Now here I will create a composable and a preview annotation. We can use show background to true. Now for preview, I will create a private function. App bar preview. We can use our mini tails theme and inside surface, we can call app bar. For title, let's pass mini tails. So this is our app bar. If we pass a nav icon, then we can see this nav icon as well. Now this is the light preview. If you want to see the dark preview, you can create one more preview function. And here we have the night mode preview. Now every time you design a composable, you have to write two functions, but we don't want to do it like this, right? So instead of creating a separate function, what we can do is we can annotate the same function with one more preview annotation and it is working fine. So now we do not require this function, but still every time we have a preview, we have to write two preview annotations. And again, to make it one, we can create our own annotation. So inside components, we can create a new file and I will name it mini tails preview. Now here we will create an annotation class mini tails preview and I have added the preview annotations here. Now we can use this mini tails preview instead of the normal preview. So I will delete these lines and I will write mini tails preview like this and we will get the same result. So we have our app bar ready. Now the next thing that we are going to create is the app text field. Because we have many parameters in a text field, that's why to make it short and concise, I am going to define my own text field that I am going to call app text field. So let's create a new function and I will name it text fields. I will close the other files and here we will define a new function. 
again it is a composable function and we have a lot of parameters to this function now value label and on value changed these three are the mandatory parameters and all the other parameters are optional and we will use these parameters only if we need them so value is the value that we will display in the text field label you know is the label we also have hint and we will use this callback to get the input value and if you want to create a password field you will pass this to true and sometimes you want to create a click only text field so you can make it click only using this function and if the text field is click only you want the clicks callbacks so to get the callbacks we will use this on click function and if you want you can pass a leading icon and sometimes we have to display validation errors to the text field so that is why we have this error field here and then the type of the keyboard the input method action and when the action is on done so we have all these parameters you can tweak the parameters if you need but for now these are more than enough now inside this function first i will create a focus manager and i will get the focus manager from local focus manager so it is equals to local focus manager dot current now i will create a box because i want to take a fixed height for the text field and that is why i am creating a box here so we have box we will pass the modifier so the width is maximum and the height is 90 dp so this app text field is not very responsive you can tweak it if you want but for this application this is enough it fulfills the requirement now inside this box we will create a composable text field using the text field function now here we have our text field and we are using a bunch of parameters the first one is modifier i hope you know what is a modifier in jetpack compose and then the value when the value is changed we are calling our on value changed function to pass the value back now all our app text field is going to be single line only if you want multiple lines you can change this value or you can create one more text field now this is for displaying error and when we have is click only we have to make it read only and disable now with the help of supporting text i am going to display error messages if the error is not null then i am using visual transformation and it is only if we have a password field for any other case no visual transformation and with the help of this we will not see what value is entered if it is a password field now this is the label and placeholder i am putting a leading icon if we have any and also a trailing icon in case we have an error now this is the keyboard action so we are sending a callback when we have a done action and before sending the callback we are clearing the focus and this will close the keyboard and in case we have the next action we are sending the focus to the next available input field in the ui finally we have keyboard options here we are defining the type and the action and that's it we have our text field ready now let's preview it and again to preview i have defined a private preview function so you can see this is our text field and it is working absolutely fine we will get the errors at the bottom now after this we will define one more package inside the theme module and i will name it utils and here we will store our common utility functions for example we have to display toast in our ui and to display toast we can define a simple extension function that we can use to display toast anywhere in the ui so let's create a new kotlin class file i will name it toast and here we will define a private fun so we have private fun context 
dot show toast. To this function, we will pass some parameters. The first one is the message that we want to display. Then we have on toast display change. Now it will return a boolean. It will give a boolean value as the parameter and the return type is unit. That means no return type. Now inside this function, we will display toast. So we can write toast dot make text for the first parameter. We can pass this. Now we will pass message and the length. Then we will write also and here to the toast, I will add a callback. So we have toast dot callback. So I want to get the visibility status of the toast. That's why I am writing this callback here. And inside the callback, we can overwrite two functions. The first one is on toast hidden. That means the toast is hidden now. And on toast shown. That means the toast is displayed. And for each case, we can call the function this function that is on toast display change. So when it is visible, I will call the function. I will pass true. When it is hidden, I will call the function and I will pass false. And finally, we will call show to display the toast. Now we have the function ready. Now I will create two more functions. The first one is another extension of context and I will name both the function toast. So sometimes I want to pass string to the toast and on toast display change like this. And this time I will pass the default value because I want this parameter to be optional. Now inside this function, I will simply call show toast. I will pass the message and on toast display changed. I will create one more function, but this time I will pass a string resource instead of string. So we have string rest. And this time it will be an int like this. And here I will get the string value using get string function. So I can use toast functions as per the convenience. When I have string resource, I can call this function. When I have a string, I can call this function. So we have the utility function toast here that we will use to display toast in our project. And now I think the UI setup is done and we can start building the authentication UI and we will do it in the next video. I hope you liked this video and learned something in case you have any problem, you can leave it in the comment section below. So thanks for watching everyone. You can get the source code from the repository and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.